Hey everybody and welcome to the next episode of Epic Arma. Of course, last time I talked about that um, story-driven content and co-op would be more common with the Epic Arma, but that, that did not mean that I would um, shy away from the old format, which was just very simple battle scenarios with lots of units. Uh, this was actually something that I had um, back in stock for a while. I made this a while back and I never released it, so I decided to just film it. It's going to be a very short episode, very simple concept. It's just an air battle between, we have about <clears throat> about 80, uh, between 80 and 90 air vehicles. Um, and the big twist to here is that we are fighting on an altitude of 7,000 meters. Now, a big thing with Armor 3 that they added is actually 3D clouds. So what I wanted to visualize, or what I wanted to create, is this cool, epic air battle between the clouds. Sort of that feeling. I mean, we all know the, the, the epic air battles where you fight above the land, but this is actually up in the clouds. Kind of like um, Ace Comet, I guess. Again, I do have to say, lag warning. I know that a lot of people don't like lag and stuff, and if you don't like laggy videos, please go away now. Alright, go away. Like I said, there are actually less than 100 vehicles here, but for some reason, when you use um, things like tanks or air vehicles, it really drains a lot from uh, from the machine. Like I said, we have between 80 and 90, so uh, alright. Are you guys gone? Are the people now left, you know, don't they mind uh, the lag? Are they the old timers who know what Epic Arma was all about from the start? Just, you know, trying to get as many units as possibly can. Alright, here we go. We'll get a, um, I'm using the F-18 Hornet, which is a modded plane, I think. And we are fighting some, uh, I don't know. We're fighting some red planes. Fuck if I know <laughs> what, what it's at. I made sure though that they had rockets so that they could actually fight with us. So yeah, we get this. And this is what I'm talking about. Fighting in the skies, baby. They're in the distance. The enemies. Don't expect a whole lot of combat engagement. Oh, somebody got shut down there, though. And you can see that it's really, really awesome to have a battle up here. One thing that's interesting when you look at the mirrors is that the clouds actually are not visible on there. It's a little difficult though to say who is who. Pretty sure that was an enemy plane. The enemy planes are brown and have a camouflage pattern. We can actually try to engage. But like I said, it's more to show you guys how the battle would be fought in the sky. see on the radar that there's a definite a lot more enemy planes I assume that's 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 a good guy never mind I think we also have like two wings on the back as you can see here actually seen these uh, planes in one of the cutscenes from uh, Epic uh, or from Raptor Wars which if you're wondering where that will be do not worry that will return next week 
I just uploaded so much Raptor Wars that I wanted to make sure that people knew that there would still be other stuff as well. Uh, and also that I'm working on something really, really freaking awesome right now with Epic Arma, but I cannot say too much about it yet. Uh, I'm making several scenarios for another new big series. I'm already up to like six scenarios. Uh, they're already done and made, not filmed yet. But uh, that's something that's going to happen in, uh, in next year. Reason why is I now have winter break, which means a lot of free time, which means that uh, I can spend that time making the maps. Of course, filming and making a strip and everything also takes time, but significantly less time than making the maps. Oh. What the fuck? Well, let's go hunt us some planes. Can I... Reaching through. I think he might actually already be going down. Oh, look at that. A lot of planes are going down, actually. This is how it looks from, uh ground up. I had to obviously make the uh, weather conditions very cloudy. Not too much though, because then you're only covered in gray. You have to have some blue spaces in there. There goes another one. Well guys, like I said, it was short, not very action-packed, but I hope you guys like the, uh, the change of scenery. Uh, it might actually inspire some of you guys who are like into like making scenarios yourself to make a, I guess, a sort of like smaller scenario. You can of course make this lag-free with only like, I don't know, 10 planes on each team, 10 versus 10. But the difficult thing is finding each other in all those clouds. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna end with dropping the big bomb on the bottom. Here we go. Whoop. Actually, the game is now actually pretty lag-free. I guess because a lot of them died as well. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.